welcome to the finale of Ape Escape 2 for the PlayStation 2. Alright my friends, so let's go into the final level, Moon Base. So as seen in the last episode we have the current objective Defeat Spectre, although in this episode we're actually going to be doing that. Now as you can see we're in outer space. This is uh, where shit really hits the fan. Spectre is going to make us work for this. Well, let's go ahead and do it. No good standing around. God knows how we're breathing up here, but I'm going to take it. Ah, screw the monkey, never mind. You don't have to capture all the monkeys, but you can for some extra points at the end of the game. Plus, um, I don't think we'll actually get to officially beat Spectre. I think we can defeat him at the end of this uh, stage, as far as I know. But to actually capture him, um, I think you have to capture all the monkeys in the game. And uh, that's why you have to go back to certain stages by using other gadgets that you've collected um, after them stages. So that you can access, um, you know, different things and different monkeys and stuff like that. There is one gadget that I'm missing. Uh, it's the boxing glove gadget that I don't actually have. Um, I don't know how you get that, but I'm assuming that's probably along the same lines. Maybe I have to collect all the monkeys in certain stages, etc. Maybe you get it out of the gotcha box. I have no idea. Now this is a really big change of scenery for us, because normally we're on the ground. Um, <laughs> in on space, you know. We're normally on planet Earth. This time, that, that, that logic isn't applying to us. We're actually, uh, yeah, we're actually not on the planet. The game has taken a big, big leap there. Spectre seriously means business. Why is it a lot of enemies in games tend to go to space? Oh, damn it. I cannot really afford to take damage here because I have no idea how hard this game's going to be. The levels have been getting increasingly difficult and, uh, yep, you bet your bottom dollar that this last level is probably going to be the same. So I'm just going to be extra careful, keep this uh, magnet gadget, because clearly I'm having to use it. It didn't look like I could reach that for some reason. Oh there we go, right, I can get onto that one, alright. Oh, okay, that was too close for comfort, there we go. I'm not even going to entertain the enemies, I'm just going to get the hell out of here. Work with me camera, whoa, okay, there we go. This is not how I wanted it to go. I don't want to become electrocuted. That's what I'm talking about. We'll grab the cookie. I'm just going to avoid all the monkeys. I'm going to probably do what I did in the uh, first Ape Escape game, guys. Um, I'm just going to go for a basic playthrough. Um, I'll leave the rest up to you. If you guys want to see a full 100% monkey collection, uh, let me know. I won't turn the idea down. I'm certainly going to be happy to hear if that's what you guys want to see. But, um, yeah, as far as playthrough goes, I am sticking to a normal playthrough. I did that with the first Ape Escape. Um, I think that generally gives the audience, I don't know, good entertainment, really. I think it's enough. Something like that I could probably see myself doing in my own time. You know, collection things take a very long time, and I want to get onto a new playthrough, and I'm not entirely sure what that's going to be. Um, so again, maybe I'll leave it up to you guys, uh, and if you don't know, I will find something else. I always find something else to play. Oh, that was too freaking close. Right, okay, I need the fire hose. <laughs> that's what I'm going to call it. Let's get rid of the banana gadget, and let's go ahead and put out flames. All right. Dragon Force won't be very happy about that. I'm supposed to go through them. Jump! There we go. Oh, another one? Okay. I'm not risking any of my biscuits. I only have one... Uh, yeah, I only have one life to my name. That's all I have. Oh, damn it, man. I knew one of these monkeys was going to get me, so let me just get rid of him first. There we go, right. I'm pretty sure that was a Star Wars reference, that name. 
One thing I love about Ape Escape games in general is the uh, the references. There are a ton of references in this game. There's names. Uh, there's just I don't know. Set the good. It's good. This game has got a good sense of humor, basically. I like how the creators uh, implemented that. Nearly missed that one. Too many magnets for my liking. Far too many magnets. I'm not a big fan when it comes to this. See what I mean? There's another one here. And this one has an explosive on it. I've got a boxing monkey trying to punch me in the face again. I've had that experience way too many times in this game. Far more times than I can count. I literally must look like the end of Rocky. Oh jeez, no, come on. No, 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 come on, because this thing is actually on a timer. You can see by the, uh, you know, the top of the bomb is going down. Move! Ah, oh, damn it. I don't even know what hit me. Was it the bomb or the flame just then? I have no idea. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I'm going to need the Skyflyer for this. Just in case I make a mistake. Because this looks like the kind of place that that could happen. Oh, boy. No, there we go. Jeez Louise, man. This is craziness. There we go. I'm trying to maintain as much health as I can. Oh, no way. Did I just say that I am starting to go off the magnets now? I'm pretty sure I just said that. Look how many magnets are here. This is far too many. What is Spectre playing at? This is going to be an 11 part series, I've just thought about it. Um, yeah, wow. This is my, uh, yeah, this is my 11th video. This playthrough didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take. I thought, actually, I thought this was going to take longer. So I am quite surprised to hear this only 11 parts. Ape Escape 1, I think, was actually around the same, the same parts. I think it was, yeah. I'm not sure if Ape Escape 3 is a longer game than uh, Ape Escape 1 and 2. But like I said, I'll leave that option up to you guys because... Uh, I think I've done enough monkey catching for one lifetime. But who knows, may not be over forever. After all, I am thinking about doing Escape from Monkey Island and that does also involve more monkeys. I don't know, I might change it up a little bit. There's a lot of games out there that I do like. I love the Spyro games, I love the Crash Bandicoot games. Um, there's a lot of N64 classics out there as well, like Zelda and... Uh, I'm sure a lot of people would like to see a playthrough of uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day, maybe Banjo-Kazooie. GameCube classics, like uh, Wind Waker, or maybe even on the Wii U, because that was a fantastic HD remaster. It's just such a shame that the Wii U didn't take off as much as it did. Um, but I am interested about this Nintendo Switch. This is clearly Nintendo's way of making up for what they've done. So we'll see. We'll see if it takes off. What do you guys think about the Nintendo Switch anyway? I am very perplexed by the idea of using uh, cartridges. I have to say I'm very, I don't know, confused about that option because it's not uh, what you'd expect. I mean, after all, they have the DS system, so that, you know, that is their way of using cartridges. So I don't know. Um, the cartridge system, that's, that's a new one. That is certainly a new one. And the idea of taking the console anywhere you go, like for example, in the trailer for it, people were on the plane, uh, they were at work, no, hopefully not work, because they wouldn't be doing work, but they were just out and about with their friends and they were on rooftops for some reason. I don't know, it looks interesting, I guess we'll find out more uh, later on down the road. But it does sound pretty interesting, I have to say. But the Wii U did have some good games on it, I have to say. Um, I liked Super Mario Maker. I liked uh, Wind Waker. They had the Twilight Princess HD remaster on that as well. Uh, Project Zero, Made in the Black Water, was another fantastic game. Um, I'm not dealing with this guy. I'm just avoiding him point blank. Don't have time for his shiz. But Project Zero, Made in the Black Water, was actually quite a rare game on the Wii U. 
Um, in the UK, that's fetching around between 80 and 100 pounds. Uh, that's quite a lot, actually, for a Wii U game. I don't know if the Wii U is going to go up in price one day. Maybe it will, maybe it will go down because it didn't take off that well. Uh, but maybe that will also mean that there weren't that many units made. I'm not sure on the stats on that console, guys. I, I just know that it was actually quite a fun console to me. Oh, come What is the game playing at? What the hell is that? What kind of dick move is that? I mean, it's one thing to deal damage to me, but don't knock me off the ledge, and then when I'm trying to recover with Pipochi, who's gladly trying to save me, burn me and knock me off again. I mean, that's just... Got, that is complete BS. I'll tell you what. If these guys are going to play with broken rules, then I'm going to play with broken rules as well. I'm just going to shoot the fucking hell out of these guys. You want to play around? Oh dear, oh dear, mate. Would you fuck off? That's it, you run away. Take it back, that is the most annoying enemy in the game. I thought it was the uh, the boxing chimps. It's not. It's those guys. And I've just noticed that the music has started to change. That must mean that we're getting pretty close to death. Alright. But Pipochi has decided to save us. He has uh, spared a biscuit for us. Okay. Gonna have to get my ass in gear now. Start paying real attention because this is... Uh, this is clearly turning into quite a difficult last stage. But then I am glad. I am very glad that that is the case. Because to be honest with you, if it wasn't turning into a, a hard thing, I don't know. This just would not be very fun. I knocked that monkey down because he's got a gun and he might do what the other monkey did earlier and knock me off the ledge while I'm in midair. That has happened a lot of times, by the way, guys. I, I've been flying or I've been in midair and this game is just, I don't know. It's got a way. It has got a way to make the player feel humiliated. But that's different, though, because there was nothing I could do about that. Right, so, let's continue on. So where are we going now? Up there, okay, right. Thankfully though, the game... Uh, I, was <laughs> I was waiting to see if I climbed up successfully, and I did. Um, the game has a way of being surprisingly simple at times when it comes to uh, getting around and finding your way around the stage. Um, I don't know, it is player friendly when it comes to that. Still bloody difficult at times though. No, no, oh, wow, that was stupidly close. Me being impatient. Sometimes patience is key. Right, what have I got to do here now? What is this? Oh, there's a magnet. Okay, I was going to say, how the hell do I get across that? I bet I have to use the magnet against the final boss. I bet that is what is going to happen. That normally happens. So I'm prepared for that. That's going to try and electrocute me. Nope, okay. Ah, oh, but I electrocute myself by accident. Okay. That's grand. That's that's certainly grand. Okay. These platforms are uh, going up and down, so I'm going to have to be extremely careful here, obviously, aren't I? <laughs> oh, jeez, Louise. I don't like the way this game is being at the moment. It is not being very fair. Okay, what did that do? That Oh, the pole was surrounded by electricity. Now I can climb it. And I can get to the door up there. Right, okay, that's good. I shall do that. I think we're nearly there, guys. I think this uh, might be the end of the stage, for all I know. Let's find out. I mean, there's a spectre emblem or crest on that door there, so this might be it. Oh, jeez, what the hell? Just when I thought the game couldn't get any more intense or over the top, the actual platforms themselves start committing suicide on you like this. Alright. Oh, come on. What is this, Takeshi's Castle now? Jeez Louise, come on. It's either that or a giant is trying to eat a giant corn on the cob. Okay. I thought I nearly missed that then. 
Okay, oh no, seriously? I don't have that much health left. How am I going to make it across this? Oh boy, this is just too much. Hang in there, Hikaru. Oh no, come on. Jump! Standing there waving your arm around like a freaking moron. Move! The hell out of there. What are you... Oh, there's... Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Right, okay. Alright. I can't afford to mess this up. If I don't get the bomb to that door in time, I am dead. But there is only so quick that you can do this. You can't exactly go quicker and faster. This is the only uh, set speed that you can move at. I think it's going to be pretty tight, though. It's already halfway down. Hurry up, man. This is getting stupid. Oh, jeez, Louise. Move. Come on. Go. Go, 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 damn it. Move out of the way. There we go. I had a little bit of time left, so I went in the danger zone exactly. Oh boy, I think we're here. This looks very interesting. I have half a biscuit to my name. <laughs> oh dear, okay. Alright, two things. What the hell was he talking like that for? <laughs> Sounded really deranged. Second of all, what the hell is this thing? He's got little chimps firing down at me from his hat. Oh no, I've dealt with this before. Yellow Monkey did the exact same thing, so I'm kind of used to that. Do I have to knock your teeth out as well? Oh, jeez Louise. Whoa! Oh. Okay, that pans around. That pans around. I have to go over that. I am going to need the sky flyer for that then. Okay, alright. Let's try and get rid of these things before they stand up. That would be extremely helpful. There we go. Right. No, move out of the way. Okay. I'm not getting in the middle of those, that's for sure. Which way are you starting? You're starting that way, are you? Alright, go. Oh, dude, are you serious? You're so fucking useless. Oh, there we go. There's our chance. Okay. I really like the boss music, actually. Alright, come on. Oh, there's a life. I'm taking that. I will have the life. No! That is too sudden. That happens extremely quickly. Right, okay, let's try and jump over this one this time. Oh man, that was extremely close as well. I've had a lot of close calls throughout this game. There we go, take that biatch. Right. How many more times do I have to do this, I wonder? This seems to be rinse and repeat at the moment. Nope, okay, he's got rockets firing out of his hat as well. I did start to wonder whether the game would change its style up. The boss has got a different fighting pattern after all. No, 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 no. Move, damn it. There we go. Alright. Oh, okay, right, he's doing that that way now, is he? Alright, okay. He is shifting things up now. Is that my chance? Yep, looks like it. There we go. That wasn't too bad. 
All right, cool. Oh, what? So it goes straight into another boss fight with Spectre himself. Wow, okay, right, just... Okay. No time for rest. I was right about the magnet thing, though, weren't I? Right, I see what you're trying, okay. Oh, jeez, Louise, it's actually destroying part of the platform as well? Are you kidding me? Oh, no, 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 what are you doing now? Oh, you, you're doing a similar thing. Okay, I get it. That Robo Kong was doing exactly the same thing earlier. Okay, right, I'm... I'm sort of... okay with the way the, uh... the boss fight is programmed to be at the moment. I was tempted to use the hula hoop. Oh! Damn it! Oh man, that sucks, okay. Alright, you're doing this again, are you? Yeah, I was tempted to use the hula hoop to get away from them rockets, but I don't actually think you need to do that. Because clearly I can get away from them on foot. You just have to be very quick. Like this, I'm sure you don't get much time to do that either. And this is the final boss fight after all. Well, uh, technically second from last, because you can fight Spectre and actually capture him. I don't think we can catch him in this... Uh, in this fight itself. I don't like that. Oh jeez, no, move. Oh god, he's doing it again. No! No, 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 no! Oh man, what the hell? Oh damn it, and the walls can hurt you as well. How was I supposed... Are you serious? How was I supposed to get away from that? I didn't know, I didn't even have any moving space. Jeez, this isn't going to be rule of three now, is it? Are you serious? You're not dead? I've hit you three times? After going through all of that, are you serious? Oh my god, how did I, how did I get away from that? Come on. Is he not dead? I only have one biscuit. I can take one more hit and that's it. Oh, damn it. What is this? A second phase? Oh, no. Look at that. He's actually minimised the amount of space that I have. This is going to be ridiculously close. This is literally going to be either me or him now. No, that's it. Game over. Okay, I get it. Pipochi, please do me a favour and save me. Oh my god, he actually did. You are an absolute lifesaver. Get the hell out of there now. That might be exactly what I needed to do this, guys. That might have just done it for me. Get the biscuit on the way down in case things don't go the way to plan. Go! There we go, that is it! A defeated Spectre! Hell yeah! Oh, 
What did I do wrong? People! Hey, Spectre! Spectre, stop! Further than I expected. Not too shabby for a mere human. Not bad yourself for a monkey. <laughs> You're a tough little fella. I respect that. But this is the end of the line for you. The trigger for the lethargy laser is right behind me. Once I flick this switch, it'll be game over for you humans. What? Come on now! Surely you can't refuse the chance to be ruled by supreme beings! You don't understand! You don't know anything about us! What? Humans never stop trying! That's what gives us a future! We'll never give in to the likes of you! Give up now! You don't stand a chance! Huh? Pipochi! Okay guys, so that has been my playthrough of Ape Escape 2 for the PlayStation 2. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. I know I sure as hell have. Um, I don't know whether I'll go on to Ape Escape 3, I'll leave that up to you guys. But I am tempted to go on to a new game now. I have really, really enjoyed this. Ape Escape games are always so much fun to play and they can be very challenging and, and uh, interesting at times. So yeah, um, we have completed Ape Escape 2. I have heard that if you complete Ape Escape 2, I'm not sure 100% completion, but you can actually select a new game and play as Spike from Ape Escape 1. So if that's true, that is pretty awesome. Maybe I'll do that one day, who knows. <laughs> Look at all these monkeys holding up the signs with the sushi coming past as well. <laughs> that's a nice touch. I'm going to let the credits roll, and hopefully you guys have enjoyed this playthrough. Alright guys, so I've been Dantels. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.